In this video, I'm going to connect to the database and to do that, I'm going to be using Mongoose, which is a great way to structure your collections and also to interact with MongoDB. So let me Google it. I'm going to search for Mongoose. And here it is. So if I go to this quick start guide, first of all, I need to install it, of course. I'm going to say here npm install dash dash save Mongoose. Okay, so now I need to require it. So I'm just gonna paste it here. And I'm gonna have a comment here actually. And I'm gonna say connect to DB. So let's see, to connect I need this. So I'm gonna paste it. And this test is gonna be CMS cart in my case, since that's the name of the database. And I also need this. So copy that and paste it here and on open I'm gonna console log connected to MongoDB like so. Okay so if I start the server now let's see what happens and I seem to be connected so it seems to be working but I'm gonna just separate this a bit I'm gonna have this connection this string actually I'm gonna have in another file so I'm gonna create a new folder and call it config and in there I'm gonna create a database JS file okay so here it is and in here I'm gonna say module.exports which is nodes way of exporting stuff and using it in other files and I'm gonna have an object here and I'm gonna say here database and I'm gonna copy and paste this connection string like so and in here I'm gonna say var config and I'm gonna require config slash database and then in here instead of this literal string I'm gonna say config dot database so this database is this right here so let's see and it restarted automatically because of the changes and I still seem to be connected just to double check let me stop the server and rerun it and it's all good okay that's it for this video